Hello, good evening. Well, it's now the second instalment of our brand new one day special. Uh, Helen is here with me today. And Helen, I've, I really want to ask you, what inspired you with this fabulous one day special? We've got this wonderful camera here. Okay, I've always loved cameras and yeah. the, the traditional camera shape. And I do have a few in my collection, like old vintage as well. And I to display them and so to have a camera box added to my collection of gift boxes yeah. was you know something I had to do. Wonderful and you know I love gift boxes as yes. you know I'm a <laughs> massive fan um, and so do you want to talk us through what we get in the one day special and what we can make? Okay so in the one day special you're going to get the camera box and the uh, the dies that you're going to get with that and okay. there's uh, 25 dies to make the camera box and it comes with all the mats and it comes with the lovely um, bit at the top there so you can make the flash and then we have a mini album that pops inside which is down there so this is a brand new size to my mini album collection okay. and that is going to work with the small ultimate binding which the binding works with all of my albums right. so it's just an addition to that one and again you get these beautiful textured papers as well there's yes. there's knitted there's you know um, faux leather uh, denim as well there's just loads of different textures you can go for. And I love the knitted ones because that's perfect for baby as well. It is, isn't it? And just so you know, these are double-sided. And what we've done is we've put them out so that we've turned one of them around, if you know what I mean. So you can see all of the different sides. But what we must show you is actually what you can make. I mean, this is just amazing. This is so right up my street. How cool is this? And it's a good size, isn't it? There we are, beautiful. And of course, you can make it in any colour cardstock that you want. Have a little look, isn't it fabulous? Look, smile on the back. And then inside, see, this is the second part to the one day special. You are going to be able to make your fabulous mini albums and they're great and so you get you get you get the dice make the pockets you do yes all the pockets and the mats are included in there too that is wonderful so then this is the perfect size we pop it back sorry i'll just have to pop it here uh, inside our fabulous camera so you can make the camera so that the lid comes off or you, you can. can leave it as an yes, ornament. If you want to make an ornament and make a lovely collection and display on your shelves, you can just you know, close the box yeah. up completely and then have that on there. It would look really good, wouldn't it, on your um, shelves. Let's bring this one in. Now, this, I believe, this here is a little bit of an add-on that you can find on the website if you want to have it almost like a your shutter yes that is the shutter die so that was previously here in january right um so if you did manage to get hold of that die you could just add it straight on to the one day special that's what we want so that is a separate item but just to show you again box lifts up like so uh, so you can have it so you can pop your your mini album in then we've got this one oh and the box this time, ah, oh, so you made this one at launch? I did, yes. Ah, so this time you can have the box opening from the back, totally up to you. Oh, and this is the knitted um, uh, paper you like. Yeah, that's the denim one. Oh, so. sorry, the denim, not the knitted, apologies. Here we are. And then we've got another fabulous uh, little album here. Now, you're getting 60 dies in total, plus you're getting, and of course you've got the little bits that uh, slide out, plus you're getting the paper pack. These are all the dies, just so I can show you, we've popped, we've popped them onto boards. And there's loads of little mini ones. What do these all do? Are they like for workings and things? Yes, yeah, some of them are for like camera flashes. So they're ah. kind of like diamonds, like square diamonds. So you can add them along the camera where the flashes and the lenses are. Yeah. And you get all those um, circle dies there. So you can get creative whether you want a closed lens or a fully open lens. And then there are a few like oblong ones that you can use to help you make the strap as well. So there's loads of accessories. Yeah. And you can make the buttons as well for the top. Marvellous. And then of course you've got these dies too. So Sorry, I'm just, there we go. Okay, yep. so that's the mini album die. So as you can see, it does all of the pages, does the pockets, and there are mats in there as well. And if you look at the um, the shaped pockets, yep. with the thumb so hole, these. they're shaped as well. Oh, so yeah. there you go. And then last but not least, we've got to have the spine for the book. Yes, so this is the small ultimate binding. As you can see, there are um, notches on there, so you can size that down. So this album is three and three quarter inches high. Right. So you'd have to cut that down okay. to that height. Marvellous. Now, you've got a £20 saving. Uh, it's two payments of £28.48. Uh, if you want to spread the cost and it's five eight seven two seven nine and 
um, Helen did demonstrate this in the six o'clock hour. We're going to see something different in this hour. So if you do want to see how the one day special is made, go to Rewind. Lovely. Uh, next up then, in fact, this is what Helen is going to demonstrate, which is the hexagonal exploding box. And I love things like this as well. Yes, this one's a lot of fun. So you can um, make individual hexagonal boxes yeah. with um, a special die in there or you could make it exploding so that all the layers come out now I know making this can be very time consuming so having the dies there yeah. that's going to do the pockets and the mats as well the mats you can use on your photographs to cut those out so I'll be demonstrating how to cut your photograph out with oh, the mat because that could be really difficult to get right excellent and then look at this isn't this wonderful oh. There's a little nipper on here on all the photographs, look. But isn't that wonderful? And then it just folds up really nicely, like so, and then you pop your lid on. That's fabulous. Uh, we are over 10% of the stock gone on our exploding box, so you, can, you get all of the dies that you need. I love this. Look at this for the lid. Isn't that pretty? I really like this. Uh, 21.99. Item number is 513310. Then next up, we have got our suitcase. I like this. So we've got our suitcase and luggage additions dies. They are here for you. I mean, I love the suitcase. We're going to go, go on our travels. Well, a staycation travel at the moment. But check this out. Isn't that pretty with your suitcase? And it shuts like so. And it, this one's aged. Ah, and do we get the dies for these as well? Yes, that's part of the additions. Ah. How cool. There you go. And they, they slide along as well. They slide along. And you can tip it upside down. Hopefully none fall out. Like that? Yep. Cool. <laughs> so it's lots of fun for all your photographs. Nice. Very nice. Uh, and these two? Okay, so that one was made using one side of the suitcase, so I've reinforced oh. it with some chipboard to make it a really sturdy tray, and then I've used the additions to make the track. Lovely. And then the, the cards just slot on there, and they move backwards and forwards. And okay. again, if you tip it upside down, yep. there shouldn't be anything that falls out. So. Excellent. There you go. It doesn't. Um, so here we are. Have a look at all of these wonderful dies, your additions. It's 34.98. Item number is 739.640. And there we are. Next up then, we've got our baby accessories. Um, this is your kind of, it's your accessories and your snapshot and fun sentiment stamp set. So you've got stamps and dies and they're ever so cute these, really, really cute. Yeah, I like these because I think there's a little bunny, there's a teddy. Ah, uh, that's so nice. Perfect for decorating your camera or your exploding box, whatever you fancy. So you've got little duckies there, um, bibs, baby grows. Um, and then you've got, of course, all those sentiments. Lovely fonts there, Helen. Yes, mm. really useful fonts there for lots of different occasions. Yeah, liking that. And then you've got the lovely stamps. So you've got one, two, three, smile. Don't lose focus. That's a good one. I like that. Uh, it's such a perfect day. Um, adjust your focus. Best day ever. Looking good. Uh, oh, the bonniest baby. That's cute. And selfie, of course, selfies. Don't be negative. I like that. Uh, <laughs> smiles from ear to ear. Great stuff. Beautiful stamps. Beautiful. Uh, this is the size of the die. These are the size of the dies. If you just want to see, let's turn that one around. Right. There we are. We look at the little the little bunny one. It really makes me smile. It's cute, isn't it? The little feet are gorgeous. And then look, you can make your boxes like this. Ah, there we are. Gorgeous. And then is another box. Oh, hang on. Let's go for the ABC. There you go. You can see those. Fabulous. Uh, Fourteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. Item number is six eight seven nine three two. And then moving along. Uh, so here we've got our box frame die set. It's the top one first, which will be five by seven inches, and you get seven dies in total. Uh, and now, so five by seven is going to be. This one? Um, I can't really see. Oh, that's from got that both in, has it? Hilarious. <laughs> it looks like five by seven. Okay, fine. Um, well, well, in fact, they're glued together, so you could get the both of them. I'll give you the details for the other one in a minute. So for your five by seven, that is fourteen ninety nine. Shall I wing that in? There you go. And it's four four zero eight five three. And then if you want the six by four, that one is at the bottom. Um, 
uh, row, if you like. Uh, but details here, 14.99. Item number is 854-819. Lovely jubbly. Do give us a call, 01733602000. Or you can check out, here's the website at hachanda.com. All available individually if you want them. Um, so if you want to purchase them just like that. Now, <coughs> you know what I'm going to ask you, because... If you've got any of Helen's previous dies, oh, I should have shown you, because I've got that lovely hexagon clutch box and I've been making loads of those. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, maybe I can get one to, tomorrow. I should have sent it to the gallery. Sorry, guys. Um, yes, if you've got any pictures at home, though, of what you've been making from any of Helen's dies, you can send your pictures to studio at tachanda.com or, again, you can pop a little note on our Facebook page. Lovely. Thank you very much. And now I'm going to hand over to Helen. Okay, so we're going to be making the hexagonal exploding gift box yep. and this is the, the die set here, 25 dies and as you can see it comes with all of the mats and the shaped thumb holes, you yep. get the pockets and the frame. So do all of your die cutting first, so think in your head what you're going to be making mm -hmm. and how you want it and then go ahead and die cut everything. So we're going to be starting off with the outermost layer first, so I have a few things already half assembled here because there is a bit of assembly for this one. Okay, so I'm starting off with three of the larger hexagons and you're going to need the side panel, so it'll be the largest side panel and we're just going to quickly discard that one. So, I'm also going to be die cutting a frame as well, so let's yeah. get that through. I'm just wondering whether, do you reckon these um, dies could go through an A5 machine or do you need an A4? Yes, it would be a quicker if you, if you went through an A4. Okay. Um, but it would definitely fit through an A5 machine. Lovely. So let's run that through. I'm amazed actually I, I, um, how you come up with all of your ideas. I just like to make things nice and easy, so I'll see something nice and elaborate and then I think, how can I make that into a yeah. die and get the steps down so that it can, you know, so anybody can make it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so this offcut here that comes out of the frame, I would keep that because that fits inside one of the little pockets there for the next layer. So those are really, really handy. Okay, so I, I have here one already cut out and folded, ready to go. So that's the frame that we have just cut out is inside there. I folded it down. Yeah. Use a bone folder for that, definitely, because you are going to get some really nice sharp creases here and a really nice, nice, nice and neat finish on there. Okay, so here we have the outermost flap okay. and we're going to be gluing these on the outside here so I have three already glued on right. so let's pop the frame on first I like to add glue just to the bottom part of the frame and then if you fold this over you'll get to see the score line a lot better and I'm not going straight onto the score line I'm leaving about a sixteenth of an inch gap just so that when this folds upwards, there's room ah. there for the frame as well. Yeah. So it leaves space. So I'm just making sure everything is straight. Lovely. And then once I'm happy that that's straight, I'm going to add glue. You can either add it to the flaps or just up the sides. Mm. Just like that. Lovely. And then I've got my red tape on already, so you can use glue or red tape for this project. I, I, I love my red liner tape, it's be without it. This is nice and strong. It so. is indeed. Because you want these to last, I mean these are memory keepers aren't they? You do, and in the central box I'm going to keep that as a, as a box so you can pop a keepsake in there as well. Cool. So I'm just going to pop these on. And as I was saying earlier, what's nice about having the engineered dies is that you, you're not um, having to get your scoreboard out, you're not having to do any measurements, it's all done for you. Okay, so I'm just popping on the last one now. So if you wanted to, you can cut another hexagon. Yeah. And you can pop that just on, on there yeah. just to hide it. So I've got the lid here as well, you get 
all of these staggered sizes, so we're working with the largest sizes of each piece. Right. And then we're going to work our way down through each layer. Excellent. So let's get this box glued together now. So you get the side pieces. Oh, under that. Oh, it <laughs> gets that everywhere. That, it the does, backing, yes. It? At least it wasn't static that time. <laughs> it's like trying to get it off your hand. Yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, my cat walks around with it clean. Stuck to, to him. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so let's pop on the last one, and I'm not going to close this up completely just yet. Mm -hmm. Oops, I put that on the wrong side. We'll have to pop that in there. There we go. Okay, I, the reason why I'm not going to close that completely is because I want to finish the box first and sure. then size it and then Good glue point. it shut. Because yeah. if you're adding page mats to the outside, it's going to bulk it out a little bit more yeah. and you want like a custom sized um, lid for your box. So I'm just going to quickly glue the extra hexagon over the top. Yeah, it's nice. It hides those joins so then. It does. It hides all of those extra flaps. Okay. So that is our first layer done. So I've printed out some photographs. There's loads of different ways you can get different sizes. So I just did an A4 sheet here using my um, my printer settings. And who is this little one? This one was my, my first one. This is Katie. Aww. So she's starting big school in September. Really? So she's not a baby anymore. Aww. How many children do you have? Just the two. Two? Mm -hmm. Just the two. Okay, so I'm going to go for the larger of the rectangles here. Now, this one is the mat. Let's see if it's if I can find it. Here it is. This one is the mat for the largest one. Yep. So it would be good if you kind of stack everything out and then you can kind of see where your sizes are straight away. Okay, so I'm just popping this onto my photo. I'm hoping it doesn't take any of the edges off, so I'm being quite minimal there. Mm -hmm. And then let's run that through. Oh, Christine in my ear has just said, what a lovely looking newborn baby. Ah, yes, yeah. she was very cute. Ah. <laughs> Christine just said, because sometimes they're a bit crumpled up. <laughs> they are, my second came out crumpled up. <laughs> you ran out of space, I'm only little. So you are, you're petite, <laughs> bless you. Uh, again, if you want to send in any pictures to studio at or via Facebook with any of your lovely makes um, if you bought any of uh, Helen's fantastic die sets. Okay, mm -hmm. there we go. The photo's good. So all we have to do now is just slide that in. Oh, so I'm just going to trim off just a little bit just so that it fits in snugly. So just take a little bit off at first and then you can size it and then that should slip, slip straight in there. So there you have your face photograph and you yep. can add another six. So those are the frames. Okay, so moving on to the next layer, we have the one with the pockets. Now the ah. die you're gonna need needing for that is this one here. Okay. And this does come with a mat as well, which is shaped for the thumb hole, which is quite difficult to do manually. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I've, assembled everything exactly the same as the first one yeah. as with all of the other layers now I did have a pocket cut out here it is okay so again I'm just going to pop on the pocket leaving the same gap like I did for the frame so yeah. there's room for it to close up uh, we do have cues on the phone lines your fastest way to order is at hachanda.com Oh, okay. Okay, so we're on the app, I keep forgetting this. So here we have all of our pockets. And again, when I said save those mats yes. from these frames, these fit in here. Ah, perfect. They fit in there perfectly. Yeah. Or you can use the mat that comes for that particular side. And that is going to fit in there as well. So you can use that to cut out your photographs like mm. I did with one of the, um, the other hexagonal boxes there. Right, so here is where you need to make a choice whether you want it directly lined up just mm -hmm. like so or whether you want to stagger it and kind of make oh, a nice, nice swell so I'm going to do a little swell I didn't realize you could do that that's fab I've got choices it is quite quite fun to kind of see how the swell carries on as it goes round 
Okay, so the trick is not to twist it round too much because these corners here can overlap some of the score lines. So just kind of put it in place where you think it will go. Just double check all of your corners. Make sure that your hexagonal box is going to close properly. Yep. So I'm Look happy with that. So and then just press that down. Okay, so now we're ready to move on to our next layer. Cool. This one's nice and easy. It doesn't have any um, extra bits because we're getting quite small now. So again, I've popped everything along the bottom. That bottom part is going to be hidden. Again, these ones do come with mats as well. Yep. So you can cut your photographs out or you can use pretty papers. And again, I'm just going to stagger that twist. Just making sure everything is closable and then press that down. Okay, moving on to the last box. I have this ready to go. Lovely. Okay, so this is the magic piece here. The magic piece. This, uh, let's get the die up easy to show you on the die. This has notches in there. So this has notches just here. So the full length one will match the outside of the box so you can make that into a hexagon box okay. a standalone gift box without yep. the sides falling down mm. and each notch rep represents each layer as you go down so you can cut it to size mm. depending on what box you're working on so um, let's have a quick look here so I'm working on the smallest box so I'm going on the lowest notch cutting that off completely right and then I'm just tapering the edges just like that so now I have a shape that is perfectly sized for this box. So I've been gluing my um, hinges onto these side pieces for the smallest box. And I've been gluing them on the right hand side. So everything has to be on the same side. Right. Otherwise it won't match as you go around gluing it together. Oh, I see. I'm just gluing that on. Uh -huh. Alternatively, you can have this as another exploding box. It yeah. doesn't have to have to be a full box because this is kind of like a baby themed box. You can put a little keepsake in there as well. And for this one, I'm just going to glue it on the inside. Mm -hmm. Just so that it's covered then. Yeah. So it's covered up, yeah. Easier if you went underneath. Oh yeah, that's a good tip, that. Then you can see the score line and match it up and get it all straight. There we go. And then what we're going to do is just close up these with some glue. Mm -hmm. Again, if you want to use red tape, you can do. And for the last one, this can be a bit fiddly, so I'm going to add glue to both flaps. Yeah. Perfect comes together nice and quickly once you cut everything. It does, yes. Yeah. And if you get a, like a conveyor belt sort of um, assembly line yeah. with your dyeing, you can uh, die cutting, you can just die cut everything out. So add one of each to each um, page you put through and do that six times. Yeah. And then you have all of the pieces you need then. Really? And just do your ex extra hexagons. Okay, so there is our hexagon box. I think that's the lid for it. There we go. And again, you get the nesting hexagon dies and there you get five of those. Right. So there is a one here that you can map the smallest one as well. So okay. that, that's a standalone single hexagon with no sides attached to that one. That is purely just for the, the matting of the smallest. Okay, so we can now glue that into the center. I'm going to line this up with the last hexagon that I put in. Lovely. Um, what's your angel policy? Can we make to sell? Yes, you can. Good stuff. Okay. Imagine what you charge for something like this. And once it's decorated as well. These are a lot of fun to make, so I'm nice. just going to pop this one up next. It'd be lovely if you opened it and there was some chockies inside. Really yes. fancy chockies. Nice treats. Yeah, you can even put the elastics around the side and put little chocolate bars in oh, on what each a lovely leaf. Idea. And thought yes, of that. You have to find mm. little fun size bars, yeah. I think, for that one. Gosh, I've had a fun size bar for ages. 
That's a perfect Christmas gift. Yeah, it is. Okay, so here we have the last bit now. So I'm going to size the top one. I am going to give it a little bit of wiggle room as well. Yeah. Oops, I should have added the glue first. That's where I need a second pair of hands. I know. <laughs> so again, it's just to make sure that this is going to fit nicely rather than too snug. And you've got to... That's it. So we're going to just pop that on there. I think I've got something caught. That's it. There we go. And then in that way, you've got a little bit of room rather than you're struggling. OK, I've got my size now, so I can now, oops, pop that down. Brilliant. So there we go. Lovely. And pinch that shut. Cool, look at this. It comes together so beautifully and it, it's the surprise element, isn't it? Once you open it, it's fabulous. Yes, especially if you don't um, put all of the lids in, it will yeah. just fan out as nice. well. But it is kind of nice just to do one layer at a time. Yeah. Love that. Thank you, Helen. All right, I'll do a quick recap. This is your one day special though. If you want to see this one being made, it's at the six o'clock hour of our launch. Um, what you're getting are your fabulous dies to make the camera. You can see these wonderful cameras around here. You'll get the dies to make the um, lovely like mini album. And you've also got the dies of the spine. Plus you get these double sided um, uh, cardstock, the double sided cardstock that has those lovely textures to them so they're not actually textured but they look textured look at that bit of snake skin bit of mock croc i love a bit of mock croc bit of denim the knitted one um lovely stuff but now i didn't show you some of these cameras look at these how fun are they so stunning this is using the some of the papers that are in uh, the one day special so that looks really brilliant let's bring this one in look how cool this is see this one we are going traveling now if you do just want the camera on its own and you don't want the actual um j the full bundle then we've got it for you at 28.99 okay let's move along i've got some of these so you can make it though so that the lid opens out very nice and then inside of course if you're going for the full one day special you'll be able to make your lovely little journal, how cool is this? Or memory book or whatever you like to say, enough to make all those tabs. They look brilliant, aren't they? Now, if you do want the album individually, because I've got another sample here, we have got that for you. And that is 18 99 You're getting 17 dies in total, and you'll be able to make these fabulous, fabulous little mini albums. 18 99 867 535 uh, so for, again, for the full one day special though, it is £56.96, £20 pound saving, it is on Flexi Buy, two payments of £28.48, uh, 587.279. Now, um, a lot of you are loving that exploding box that Helen has just made for us um, and they are so cool to do, aren't they? You're getting lots and lots of dies, in fact 25 dies in total. We're a quarter of the stock gone, but look, are you ready? Are you ready for the surprise when you open it? Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Boom! It's cool, isn't it? It's so cool. Let me bring this other one. And of course, you've got your pockets. You can put all of your photos on there, or it could be anything you like, really. So let's just do this one. Ta-da! And inside you've got, look, some of the baby accessories. I don't know if you can see in there. They're at the bottom of the screen if you want, you know, where you get the little bunny and the uh, bib and everything. Uh, but for your actual hexagon exploding box, it's 21.99. Item number is 513310. You're liking those baby accessory dies. Okay, there we go. Sorry, it's hard to do from the back. There we are. 21.99, Then we have got our uh, suitcase and luggage additions. Uh, you're getting 16 dies in total and then you'll be able to make them so that they can do that and then you can flick through your photos and whatnot. I think that's so cool. Look at that. Oh, um, uh, say that again, Arkim. 
section it off. What's she say? <laughs> like a Rolodex. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I can see that. Mm. Like the, oh, right, oh, right, right, the plain jelly on one side and then the actual holiday on the other. I totally see where you're going now. Sorry, there you are. And then you can also do, so this slides, look. You can slide it up. They can all slide down. How cool is that? Uh, £34.98 then for these sets of dies. Item number is 739640. Then we have our baby accessories. You are liking these very, very much. Um, you also get these gorgeous stamps, these lovely sentiments as well. Um, and then the dies are quite a nice size, actually. They're bigger than what you see on the packaging. I will show you. And of course, you've got those brilliant stamps, you know, one, two, three, smile or cheese. We need cheese. Um, look at that, the bunny, the teddy, you've got the baby grow, ABC. Congratulations, little rattle. And then this is lovely little one with the teddies on. Yeah. And then there's an ABC there. There you are. And lovely little bib. They're cute, aren't they? £14.98, pence. item number is 687932. Oh, we're going to this one. Okay, so this is to show the actual cube. So what I just showed you that the accessories were popped on. So you can make something like this. Oh, this has got something in it. Oh, I can't get into it. Oh, I'll look later. It's definitely got something in it. Um, so you can make those gorgeous cubes, but also you can just have them in half, like so. Um, so all the dies you can see are at the back and then here is the packets where you get in your numbers the month the year uh, Day days and then of course you've got the lovely sets of dies. We've got a bit of an ornate feel to them um, And it's 2898 item number is 231805 Oh, what's next? There we go. Oh, just of this. Oh, that's all right. Uh, 2898, item number is 231805. And then the last thing we're going to show you is we have got um, some frames. Um, and Helen's going to demonstrate these. So you've got two different sizes that you can make. Uh, this is the 5 by 7 frame. And then it'll make this one here, which is brilliant. It's a nice little sort of... Um, nice it's a nice sort of box shadow isn't it and they've also got the words on them i like the family and and of course you fold them over then that's really cool 14.99 item number is 440853 and then down at the bottom we've got the six by four i'd go for both if you can and these come with baby and love on Again, 14.99.854.819. Right then, have a look at the website. We have got some seven day savers. They launched yesterday morning and you'll save saving on some of them over 70%. It ends in five days, 11 hours and 26 minutes. Oh yes, now we've got some super smooth card. We also have those leather swatches. Oh, buddy box. I was trying, I was opening them out last night because um, I like, I love these. You're choosing any, Four, it's a pick and mix you're choosing any four and I like to keep one in the back of the car um, and then you take it shopping and then instead of plastic bags you just you know if you like to scan and shop you can put all your stuff in there and then just carry all of it out to the car which is good we've got some a3 water car watercolor card plus we've got some Julie Hickey stamps they're there for you lovely okay then so without further ado I'm gonna hand back to Helen Okay, so we're going to be starting with the 6x4 frame and I've got my photograph. It's a 6x4 photograph, so there's no extra trimming or anything like that. It's, it's just a standard size there. So you're going to have to cut two of the frames and then glue those together. So I'm using the paper, the textured wood paper from um, the One Day Special and I'm just going to tape this onto my paper and then run that through the machine. So I have one half already prepared, so then we can just glue that one together. Oh, now I should just say, if you do want the paper pad uh, on its own, because it is your consumable, and uh, you know a lot of people do tend to get an extra one, because you know, you're gonna go through it, aren't you? And that is 11.99, you get 12 double-sided sheets with all these lovely textures. 671296 is your item number. Okay. 
Nice and easy. Nice and easy, definitely. So what it's done, it's done all of the scoring and all of the snipping that you would have to do by hand, yeah. which I always forget which parts I have to snip off. <laughs> and then I snip off the wrong bit. So it's just really handy to have these now in a die. So just fold all of your score lines. You can use a bone fold of this, but I find just pressing it this one down yep. with my thumbs That's works just, just as well. Yeah. And then just these side tabs as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some red tape here. You can use glue for this as well. Just to be quick, I'm going to use the red tape. And I'm putting it on the most, the outermost line. Lovely. And just do that on the other side. Okay. And Does the six by four sort of um work in the same way as the five by seven yes yep. it's exactly the same it's just a larger frame cool i love a nice little frame and i won't i won't should i demonstrate it um why not got 20 minutes just gonna tip all these out sometimes it's easy just to tip everything out mm -hmm. we get these border dies here yeah. and we can pop these Oh, nice. Onto the edge. So you can choose which one you want. It's pretty hard to see here with the wood grain. Yeah, you can. <laughs> see the score yeah. lines. Yeah. So um, I'm going to pop that one on to here. Just use some tape just to keep that in place. Yep. And then we have the shorter one. I might just have to add some tape to both sides. Yeah. I'm sure it won't move though. You never know, it's live TV. There you <laughs> go. It just moved off there. <laughs> I'm having trouble seeing the score lines because of the wood grain. Oh, bless you. <laughs> so it's not, is it going to be quite, is it quite an ornate border? Because I can't see from there. Sorry? Is it quite an ornate border? Yes. Yeah. So it's kind of like um, geometric. Okay. But it is quite little, so let's pop that into place. Let's hope that stays. Mm be careful with that and one run that through and you can see how um, what good quality the the, the cardstock is because you know it's got the score lines and it's not cracked or anything which is really good so it's good good quality at the bottom of the screen again if you want it for 11.99 12 double-sided sheets and it's got like knitted patterns um, snakeskin mock crock yeah like a leather effect Cool. I think it was the red tape sticking to it. Oh, is that what it was? <laughs> okay, so let's pop that down. There we go. That's really pretty, that. See, it's all these little extras that really, like, make it come together. Make it look extra special. Handy to have those, because there's little tiny bits that come out. Is there time to do the other one? Yeah, we've got like uh, at least 15 minutes. We're fine. Um, again, if you've got any questions for Helen or you want to send your pictures to studio at hachanda.com, um, then you can send them to. Uh, what did I say? I've lost my train of thought. Sorry, if you've got any of your, you know, if you've got any of Helen's previous dies, you can, we'd love to see what you've been making. Okay, I'm just going to pop this one onto the other side. So this is an optional extra. You can do the frames without the border dies. They will still work just the same. Just going to add some more tape just to keep that into place. And then run that through. Yeah, lovely. And I'm just going to show you some samples just while Helen's running that through. Here we are. Look at these. Look. They're so sweet. So they're like your, your, your shadow boxes, aren't they? They're really nice. But again, it's lovely that you're not having to get your scoreboard out. You're not having to cut anything. The dies will do the hard work for you. And I love that you've got the family on there. Uh, so this one's your five by seven, I think. There we are. Uh, 14 99 it's on screen. But look, you can do something like this. Isn't that cool? Love this. Fabulous. 
Okie dokie, back to you Helen. How are you doing? I've got loads of confetti now. Okay, so that is what it looks like with all of those holes in. Yep. Okay, so we can now glue these together. So literally just like that to make oh, one I big see. rectangle. So grab your glue. Where, oh, here it is. <laughs> You could use red liner tape for that maybe? Yes, you could. So I'm just going up to the score lines, but I'm not covering the score lines because I still want it to fold up. Yeah. And I'm just gonna turn it over and just double check that it looks okay from the back as well, mm -hmm. which it does. So I can fold up all of the sides now. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna pop my photograph on there and just see whether I need to trim my photograph down, which I will very slightly. Okay. And again, this is a lovely little memory piece. You're going to keep it, you can pop it on the wall. Um, you could pop them. I quite like when you see pictures all up the stairs, actually, the wall, you know, as you're walking up the stairs. Nice and staggered, yes. Yeah. You have a nice gallery there as well. Mm -hmm. It's a very inexpensive way of creating loads of frames and making a feature wall. Yeah. Okay, so that is now going to be glued onto there. So if you want, or well, the best thing I would say would be use um, acid-free glue mm -hmm. or photo, like a tape runner or something like that, but acid-free. Yeah, that's important. Because it's going to pres preserve the photograph. Yeah, definitely. So I'm going to pop that there. And then I'm going to start with the straight sides first. So we have these angled sides here. I'm going to do those last. And we're just going to fold them over and tuck them in. There you go. So it sort of rolls over, doesn't it? It does, yeah. yes. And then you've got that nice finish, that nice ornate piece on the side that looks really pretty. Oh, and she's a cutie. Yeah, she was about five months old there. Oh. I need my spike. Yep, she's a proper teenager now. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> How old is she now then? Um, she is 12 next month, oh, so okay. she's almost a teenager, but she yeah. acts like one. Yeah, so yeah, she might I'm as sure well, they all do. She might yeah. as well be one. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm now going to add just a bit of glue just to these corners here where this is going to fold in and cover that. It just helps it kind of stay in place. I'm going to add some glue to side tabs don't forget you can get the five by seven which we've popped on screen as well as the six by whatever it was I can't remember six by four thank you um, but if you want the five by seven you get the seven dies it's 14.99 look at that that mitered corner is perfect isn't it there we go. It's, it's adding the glue just to the inside corners here that kind of just holds it yeah. into place. So last one now. So again, I'm just going to take this off first this time, if I can. There we go. OK, so I'm just going to add glue here mm -hmm. to the little tabs, a yep. little bit of glue in each corner. And then I'm just going to Poke that in first, get that into the position, okay. and then roll it round. Lovely. And then press that down. And oh. there we have a bit of confetti still. Here we have the frame. And it, it's oh, almost done. She's so beautiful. And do you know what? It looks lovely with the wood grain uh, effects yes. around it. And again, you know, the fact that you've used the dies just to create that nice ornate panel, that looks really good. Okay, so if you want to add any words with this one, you yeah. have love and baby. So I, uh, where is the baby? Here it is. I'm going to use the baby here. Isn't it cute. So these dies will come with it also. So you get baby and love, don't you? Yes, and you get family and friends in the five by seven. Yeah. So I'm going to use some silver mirror here. And then run that through. Lovely. And I'm just going to run and get, actually, let's see. I've got this little one. I'll show you again. Because here we've got 
You can see how it works then. You can see, because it like folds over and it gives it more of a sturdy feel. Yeah, perfect. Okay, back to you, Helen. Okay, so that's come out now. So this should all come apart. So we have a two layer here. So it's, it's mirrored on one side, so you can fold it over and it's super, uh, well, not super strong, but it just adds a bit of sturdity to it. Yeah. Is that a word, sturdity? Rigidity. Rigidity, that's yeah. a good one, yes. <laughs> okay, so. I like the word sturdity, though. <laughs> it's a <our> new word. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we can add some glue now just to all of the letters. And it's, um, I think this is a nice size, you know, it's, it's quite prominent. Yes. Oh, I did forget to mention we have this tiny little die here, so you can pop that in the, on the back. Oh, all right. What's that for? On um, one of them. So you can add a bit of string, oh. so you can hang it up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's just a little hanging tag. Okay, so that is now glued together. I just want to get rid of all of my little bits of glue that have come out, that's come out. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you can add that to the bottom uh, there so I'm just going to add some glue to the back line here and it's going to be that line that's going to attach that to the bottom of the frame yeah and it's perfectly sized for this frame in in portrait but it will also fit that way as well yeah and again you can mix and match all the words if you have um, both frames and again you get a lovely little um, corner as well, so you can die cut those around and add corners to yeah. your frame as cute. well. So there we are. There we are. Look at that. That's so cute, isn't it? Oh, adorable. Right, I'll just leave you for a second. Um, one day special though. If you want to see how the one day special was made, um, please check out the six o'clock show. You can catch up on rewind. You can also, if you go to the TV schedule, you can actually find it there as well because that. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, Kim's saying she didn't know that. No, that's the way I personally watch it, you see. That's how I watch the catch-up on catch-up. Right, we are 30% gone for the one-day special. And what you're getting is um, the actual camera dies to make the camera. I'll show you some samples in a minute. And then you're getting the dies to make um, the lovely little mini album plus the spine. Now, have a look. I think we should have a look. I'm just going to wreck the pack shock a, li a little bit. Have a look at these wonderful papers. Oh, can I? Is that all right? Let's pick them up. All right. So they are double sided. So you can see that side and that side. And then here we go. Look, this one's your sort of mock crock. And there, look at that. How cool is that? And then the next one, we've got our wood grain. Ooh. And then it's almost like, you know, you, what's it, floors? The f um, laminate, that's the word. Bit of knitting. Sorry, I just stifled a sneeze there. And then the next one. Here we are. We've got a little bit of denim. Look, it's even look, worn denim. Look at that. These jeans have been well loved. And then, of course, we get to the other side that we have just seen. That's quite nice, isn't it? There we are. Um, I will sort that out, <laughs> sorry, because I've left it in a bit of a mess there. But anyway, you'll get your 12 double-sided, but then look at what you can make. This is your fabulous camera that you can pop together. Yes, oh, Kim's just come up with a good idea. If you actually have a real camera, you could, put, you could keep your camera in the camera. I like that. Um, yes, and also the charger leads. You've got enough room in there, haven't you? So you've got your fabulous camera and then you'll be able to make your mini album because you can see you've got the lovely little tabs like so marvelous so let me pop that one back in um, now you can get the camera on their own if you want and so this is the camera that was made in the first hour if you want to see it on rewind you can have the lid opening again you could have the lid opening at the back there we are and this one now you can buy this little shutter separately if you look on the website so if you want that lovely effect of the lens I think that's fab that I would definitely go for that my personally uh, again the lid comes off it's fabulous 
Uh, I've called it a shutter. I'm just chatting to Kim in my ear, but I don't know if it's called that on the website. No, no lens. The, sh the lens I've said, I think I've said. Um, but anyway, you'll be able to tell from the dies. Here's another one of our fabulous little mini albums and all the little keepsakes you can pop in here. All of the little pockets. They're great. Over here, I've got some more. So this is using the papers in the one day special. So there's so many different looks that you can give it. There's that little, like it's the camera flash. I like that, that's clever. Oh, sorry, that was good. Here we are. And here's one more sample for you to have a look at. That's cool. Uh, 56 pounds and 96 pence and you've got a 20 pound saving. You can also spread the cost on Flexi by two payments of 28 pounds and 48 pence. 587279. Now, uh, this was this was Helen's first demonstration earlier on and it is the exploding box and it is super cool. All the engineering, all the hard work's been done for you because you've got the dies and then you don't have to get your scoreboard out. You don't have to think about measurements. And then when we open it, it's a lovely surprise for someone. Ta -da! Look at that. Isn't it cool? That is really cool, isn't it? Um, I'll pop that together a bit later. But look how big you can make them. I mean, this is great. Look at that. It's really full. Oh, sorry, that little photograph's just fallen out. I'll have to pick that one back up. But it's really pretty. You can put chocolates or some sweets or whatever in the centre a nice little surprise in there it would be lovely out of christmas card as well christmas card stock because what a lovely present 21.99 um 21.99 and you've got 25 dies in total 513310 you could put even put jewelry in there next then we have got the suitcase and luggage additions now if you do want just the suitcase actually the suitcase dies we can bring those to you separately. So there they are at the side of the screen for $23.99. If I open it up, oh, did I shut it? There we go. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's because it's got, there you are. Sorry. Uh, $23.99 for just the suitcase dies. Item number is 539226, or if you just want the additions, and that gives you all the, the tabs and whatnot. Look at these, there you are. We've got those for $13.99. Item number is 741858. But if you want the two together, then the details are just coming onto the screen. And it is $34.98. And then you'll get 16 dies in total. Uh, 738, sorry, no, 739640. You've been liking this next one. We have got the baby accessories. They are very, very cute indeed. And you can make, look, there's a little bunny rabbit. Cute, it says. Uh, there's a baby grow. Little, little teddy bear. How sweet is this? I love that with the feet, isn't that cute? And here you've got the ABC and the little teddy. You, look, you've got accessories, so you can put bows on them. Little rattles. Look at that, there's a little safety pin cute and you also get stamps with this set there's some really nice um what's the word sentiments on here so you've got like one two three smile they're there for you and like don't lose focus that's a good one really like that adjust your focus now these would be perfect for your journals the stamps loving those uh, 14 pounds and 98 pence item number is six eight seven nine three two and then last but not least, we finish off with our frames. Uh, so this one is your, the top one is your five by seven. I'm just gonna run and get that sample. Um, so it's your five by seven. You can see those lovely, lovely shadow boxes. Hang on, I've got it here, here it is. I nicked it to show the baby. There we are, lovely. So that top one, five by seven, and it will come with the family and friends lovely and of course the corners which are brilliant 14.99 and that was um 440.853 and then on the bottom row you'll see that you've got your six by four so if you want the slightly larger one but to be honest i would if you can stretch to it i would go for both and that's the one with the baby on lovely uh, 14.99 item number is 854.819 but of course we finish with the one day special 
oh sorry i missed one sorry this one's the boxes apologies uh 28 pounds and 98 pence 231805 Lovely. Thank you very, very much, Helen. We're miles away now. All over here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we will see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Um, thank you for purchasing, or if you haven't yet, of course, you can still order after the hour. Keep me company for the next hour, because I'm on my Todd. Well, I have got the voices.